Hey kids, how you going? We're here at Cape Conran. We're checking out all the creatures they have in the park. This is one of the most extreme ecosystems in Australia. We've probably got over 5,000 creatures here all around me. It's truly amazing. This is truly where the wild things come to play. Sometimes in the bush you just hear a little thing. It can be only a little thing, but you've really got to look carefully. Some of the creatures in this bush that make a loud sound are so tiny, so small. So let's go and have a look. This is totally wild. I just saw some really cool cicadas. But those little brown cicadas, those little bush cicadas are everywhere. They're absolutely gorgeous and they're very hard to see. I was absolutely amazed that the cameraman got in there and found them. But he heard them ticking away in the bush and they were really exposed and we could get in there and get a really great shot on them. So looking at those cicadas, I thought because you can find cicadas in your backyard, you can get the cicadas of the birds, you can actually draw cicadas and they're really close to my heart. As a kid, I used to get cicadas. I used to play with them in the backyard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, my classic shot of a cicada just walking along. I'm gonna look at the wings, I'm gonna look at the body and I'm gonna do them going away. I'm gonna start with a couple of circles here for the wings, just to try and get the, the space. Triangle, and they've got two large nodules, and then it's like a diamond shape. And that comes down into a head. It's, they've got a really, really strong, sh distinctive shape. So you, can so, so you can sort of draw the eyes on and draw little bits and pieces as they're going along. You can sort of draw um, where the wings attach and you can get that, um, that really insect shapes like uh, on the abdomen, all the bands going back. And you can draw some of it underneath. We've got to try and get the legs coming up. They're very distinctive with the cicada. They've got their sections and they go right down underneath. So they're like big sausages. And then they've got little curly hooks on the ends, little curly hooks on the end of their um, on the end of their legs to hook into the tree. And we're going to get that diamond shape on the head. Now I know, like a lot of cicadas, they have these little tiny dots on the top of their nose. They're really, really cute, so we can draw them. Your green grocers have them and we can colour in those eyes nice and dark. That's pretty much my underdrawing for the cicada. It's got all the shape there. We're going to have a bit of the body at the back there. Um, now we're going to just have to work out how we do all the lattice work in the wings and how we do the big smooth shapes of the abdomen and the body, okay? So I'm going to do a little bit of both and I'm just going to let the pen go soft and hard, soft and hard. So. Just move through really softly, put a few lines in there, and then put these, wigg put these wiggly little bits in for the lattice work on top of the wings. They can be a little bit scribbly and wavy. And now I'm gonna come over my underdrawing and I'm gonna sharpen it all up, make it really committed, make a real statement with all my, my lines. And I can shade in some of those lines that I don't like. I can put the little bit on the top there. And I can come down. And develop those little pieces of line work. And come back up in the wing, come back around where it attaches, do that eye nice and dark, shade in the shapes, nice angular shape, and do, do all those even segments of those legs. 
it's sort of like the way you do ants, insects, crabs, lobsters. Put little feet on him. They're very angular creatures too, these insects, they're all partitioned and angular. So make sure you do nice sharp shapes on some of them. As you can, as you can see, um, the legs, they sort of come up and they fan out in a shape and they all come back to a near central point. So make sure that you've got all of that in here, just down there. Then bring the abdomen back through under the wing and that's what I mean, some light, some dark. And there's the back of him, and then segment up like that, and try and get your different segments of your wing on top. Now you can put a little bit of a shadow to give some body, but really, I think this is about it. I'm liking this. What do you reckon? Little cicada, just walking along. You might not see his legs on the other side. You may throw him in there. Just sizing him up. Come again, have a look at all the other drawings that we do. Come again another day and have a play.